welcome to this week's Connect 3. This is a time where you, me, and Jesus connect through His Word. Today I want to speak to you just a moment about broken cisterns and living water. As I read the scriptures from Jeremiah associated with our Read Through the Bible plan, I heard the Lord speak some things to me that I want to share with you. So hear what Jeremiah said. My people have committed two sins. They've forsaken me, the spring of living water, and they've dug out their own cisterns. Watch this, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. You see that? Their own broken cisterns. In this passage, the Lord confronts His people for two sins, abandoning Him, the source of life, and relying on themselves digging broken cisterns that cannot satisfy. These broken cisterns represent the futility of seeking fulfillment, security, or meaning apart from God. When we turn away from Him, we try to sustain ourselves with worldly pursuits. We end up spiritually dry and empty. But in contrast, following the Lord with a whole heart means drinking deeply from the fountain of living water, gushing water. Jesus offers an abundant life that overflows with His grace, with His peace, and His purpose. When we surrender fully to Him, we no longer struggle to fill our lives with things that don't last. Instead, we're filled by a spirit, refreshed and renewed for every good work. So the question for us today is, are we drinking water or trying to quench our thirst or get direction from broken cisterns? Let's turn our hearts wholly, wholly, totally to God, trusting Him to sustain us, seeking our satisfaction in Him rather than in the things of the world. Isaiah said, Why do you spend money for what's not bread and wages for what does not satisfy? Listen to what he said. Listen carefully to me. Watch, eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. So my question to you, what broken cisterns or senseless spending are you tempted to rely on and how can you turn to the Lord as your source of living water? Father God, today may we find our satisfaction and our direction as pastors and leaders in Christ who is our fountain, gushing with living water. Have a blessed day.